Hello and welcome to the Ocean County School Counselors Association Virtual College Fair. I'm really excited that you're with us tonight to hear from six great schools. I have a few housekeeping announcements before we get started. You can use the Q&A button on your screen to type your questions to our presenters at any time. You can direct your questions to a specific school or schools by including their name in your question or you can leave a question for every one of our representatives to answer about their institution. Your camera and microphone are off, so the panelists cannot see or hear you. That's why that Q&A button is really important. This is just one of many different sessions that have happened as a part of the programming from the Ocean County School Counselors Association. We hope you attended other sessions as well. This presentation, like all of those other presentations, has been recorded. And so you'll be able to see all of these sessions again in about a week's time at the same website where you registered, strivescan.com slash O-C-S-C-A. And I'm now excited to welcome our first school to present tonight, and that will be Coastal Carolina University. Hi everybody. Um, so my name is Anna Maria Lovato and I am the admissions counselor from Coastal Carolina University. Um, let me just get my PowerPoint up here and I'm just going to talk quickly about some of the kind of general information about Coastal Carolina. So we are known as Teal Nation. Um, that is kind of how we refer to ourselves as our campus um, just because we uh, those are our school colors. And I'll explain a little bit more as to why we call ourselves Teal Nation. Um, later on. So we are a medium-sized campus. We have approximately 10,000 students um, spread across five academic colleges. Um, and in those colleges, which does include our Wall College of Business, our Spadoni College of Education, our Edwards College of Humanities and Fine Arts, um, our Gupta College of Science, and our HTC Honors and Center for Interdisciplinary Studies, we do have over 90 programs of study. So if you are undecided or you don't know what you want to do yet, that's perfectly fine. You have plenty of time to figure it out. We are located in Conway, South Carolina, which is right next to Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. So we are nine miles west of the ocean. Um, on campus, we do have an average 16 to 1 student to faculty ratio. Um, and this is really great. This is um, You'll see this more as a junior and senior. Um, freshman and sophomore classes will be kind of 25, maybe 30 students max. We don't have any lecture halls or anything. So you really are going to get that one-on-one -on -one time um, with your uh, professors as well as your classmates, which is great because 79% um, of our faculty do possess their doctoral or terminal degrees, which means that you are getting taught by the best of the best and you're getting to know the best of the best really, really well, which can come in handy later on as you look for internships. Um, we do also have a very active student life here on campus. We have over 120 different student organizations. Um, if you want more information about that, we have the full list on our website. We do also have the option to create your own club if you don't see one that you are interested in joining from that list. We are a um, Division I school, so we do have 19 NCAA Division I teams, um, and we are part of the Sunbelt Con Sun Conference. Um, if you are interested in playing sports, but not quite at that level, we do also offer club sports and intramural sports. So um, you can find all of our teams and kind of the information on how to try out for the Division I level on our website as well. Now, I said earlier that we're known as Teal Nation, and this is why. We do get applications from all 50 states as well as internationally. The darker states are going to be where we get the majority of our, our applications, um, and we do get over 15,000 applications every year, give or take. So we have a very diverse campus. About 49% of our students are in-state and 49% are out-of-state, and 2% are international. So we're really, really proud that our campus is so diverse and that you'll get the opportunity to meet people from all over the country as well as the world. So our general freshman requirements, our average range for students um, is 3.2 uh, to 4.0 GPA, as well as a 19 to 24 ACT or an SAT of 1020 <clears throat> to 1150. Um, we do accept students that are kind of below these levels, so don't worry if you don't quite meet those GPA or test scores. We do have some conditional admission programs, and um, we are willing to work with you to kind of figure out how to be able to get admission to Coastal, so just reach out to us. Um, we did start being test optional this past fall, so if you have a 3.5 or higher GPA, as well as enrolled in rigorous classes like honors, AP, dual enrollment, you can apply test optional. We strongly encourage you to submit letters of recommendation and an essay, um, and if you are kind of a little bit below that test optional GPA, um, go ahead and still apply test optional, but keep in mind we may still ask for test scores if we determine that you are not uh, eligible for test optional admission. 
So our core requirements for um, admission to Coastal as a freshman, we do require four units of English, four units of math, three of lab science, two of foreign language, three of social sciences, one each of fine arts and PE, and two academic electives. If you don't have um, a certain one because your high school didn't require it or you were exempt, just let us know and we are happy to work with you to um, maybe provide some exceptions. Our priority date is December 1st to be considered for merit awards. We are rolling admissions, so we don't have any hard deadlines, um, but if you want to be guaranteed to be reviewed for a merit award, uh, just make sure you get us everything by December 1st. And then after that, we will award merit awards based on the availability of funds that we have um, in our merit award bank. And then you can either apply on our website or on the Common App. We did just start the Common App, so um, that is new, um, very exciting. And once we get all of your documentation, so for test optional, that's application and high school transcript. And then for non-test optional, high school transcript, application and test scores. We will get you a decision within three weeks of receiving all of those documents. Um, so we do, have a, we do try to have a very quick turnaround at Coastal. And then uh, we are very upfront about our tuition uh, at Coastal. So these are in-state and out-of-state numbers. Um, something to keep in mind is our housing and meal plan options listed are the most expensive option. So that total at the bottom can go down depending on the housing and meal plan you select. And this is also the price before any financial aid or merit award is taken into consideration. So that bottom number will go down. Um, we like to show numbers that go down, not go up. And then we do offer, or we do review all of our freshmen um, for merit awards. So you don't have to do anything different. Um, we just automatically review, review you after your acceptance. So um, that's, this can be anywhere from 15% to 60% off of tuition. And then if you are doing our PGA golf management or our um, visual and performing arts degrees, we do have some specific ones. And this is just a list of kind of how we award and how we review applications for merit awards. Um, and that will determine the level of merit award that you get. So that's all I have for you guys. This is my contact information. Um, I work with the states listed here as well as some South Carolina counties. And then I also work with our high ability uh, students. So if you have any questions, do not be afraid to reach out to me. I'm happy to help. Thank you so much for presenting on Coastal Carolina University tonight. Our next school is going to be the College of Staten Island. So good evening, welcome students. Um, it's my pleasure to be here this evening. I do not have a PowerPoint to share because it's a little bit too long. We're limited to six minutes. So I'll just tell you about the college um, and I'll put some information in the chat when I'm finished. So the College of Staten Island is part of the City University of New York. There are 25 CUNY schools throughout the five boroughs of New York City. The College of Staten Island is the only public college on Staten Island. Um, it's a little under $7,000 a year for New York State residents. If you're an out-of-state resident, it will be a little more than double that tuition. But of course, you can apply for um, loans and scholarships and maybe some grants. The College of Staten Island is a comprehensive college. We offer associate's degrees, bachelor's degrees, master's degrees, and doctoral degrees. The most popular majors at the College of Staten Island are nursing, education, and business. But then we also have four plus one programs that are becoming more popular. So we have um, engineering, computer science, biology, and social work that if you get your bachelor's degree in four years, it will take one more year to get your master's degree. Um, we also have the division of schools. So we have the division of humanities and social sciences. We have the division of science and technology, the Chazanoff School of Business, School of Education, and the School of Health Science. We also have a new program, the PharmD program. It's in conjunction with Buffalo State. So you would come to CSI for four years and three years to Buffalo State to become a pharmacist. The College of Staten Island is a beautiful campus. We have luxury apartments on campus. They're two bedroom, three bedroom, four bedroom apartments with full kitchens and baths. They are quite lovely. It's first come first serve basis. So when you apply to the College of Staten Island, you would apply to a CUNY application and you pick up to six schools on that application for $65. So you might've heard of other CUNY schools, you can apply to them as well. Uh, the College of Staten Island has um, rich resource, uh, research in, for students. Not all colleges allow undergraduates to do research. So in our biology, chemistry and um, science areas, we have students that work with professors, they will mentor them to do research. This makes you more marketable when you're going out to find a job. 
We also have study abroad. We also have um, opportunities to get um, internships. Some of the internships are paid internships. The College of Staten Island uh, classes are small. Um, we also have honors programs and opportunity programs for students. Uh, I don't know if I already told you, but we have a D2 program. So um, there are scholarships avail for, available for sports at the college. And the college also um, has a large campus. Right now, we're mostly remote because of the pandemic. I heard this fall, we're slowly coming back where we're gonna have 25% of the students come back uh, to campus on campus. But right now, um, this fall will still be somewhat remote because of the, the pandemic. The, they wanna keep the safety of the students and the faculty. So the College of Staten Island, when you apply, you apply online. And um, I will put my information in the chat. I'll also put in the chat a link if you wanna fill out an inquiry card for me and I can keep in contact with you. I'll put my email in there as well. Um, and when you're picking a college, you know, you're gonna pick what's the best fit for you. So. Right now, you can do a virtual tour of our campus because of the pandemic, we're not having tours on campus. So I know it's difficult to pick a campus by a, web a website or a virtual tour or just by speaking to somebody from the college. But hopefully this fall, we'll be able to have students or maybe even this summer, students come on campus and actually see the facilities in person. Um, thank you so much. And I'll um, send it off for the next person. Great, thank you so much, Joyce, for sharing the College of Staten Island with us tonight. Um, our next school is going to be Drew University. All right. All right, everybody. Hi there, how are you? My name is Zach Maurer. I'm one of the admissions counselors here at Drew University. Um, I am also a proud Drew alum, uh, class of 20. Hey Zach, I want to check. Are you trying? Are you going to move it to um, presentation view? Thirteen. Uh, so as you can imagine, I have a lot of uh, Drew proud Drew. Hold on, that's what I wanted. I apologize. Oh no, I just wanted to make sure. <laughs> um, now to get that. started with. <laughs> um, now to to a little bit about uh, where we are and and our location. So we're located in Madison, New Jersey. So from Depending on where you are in Ocean County, we can be anywhere in that range from an hour to about uh, two hours. I know Ocean County is rather big, um, but so we're pretty much straight up the partway from wherever you are in Ocean County. Um, we're about 50 miles outside of New York. Um, we're also within, uh, within about 75 uh, miles of Philadelphia. So we're in a very great location here at Drew University. Um, the, and what makes us so accessible is the fact that we do have a train station right in the middle of our town, which is just a 10 minute walk from campus. So we're in a very uh, centralized spot that allows us to take advantage of, of going, to, of going in, into New York, of going into places like Philadelphia with access to DC. Um, as I mentioned, the town of Madison is a 10 minute walk from campus. Um, a lot, this, this past fall, we were rated as one of the safest college towns in Madison. So. Um, if, if any parents out there, you are sending your child to a very safe area here in uh, at Drew. This is one of my favorite shots of campus. Um, if you can't tell from the picture, we are technically a forest. We're 160 acres of beautiful trees and ferns. This is my favorite time of year here at Drew, right in the fall, as you can tell by the trees and colors here. Uh, some quick facts about us. So we are a small liberal arts college. So we have about 1,700 undergraduate students. Um, we have an average uh, a student to professor ratio of 15 to 1. Um, some of our popular majors here, I'll round out the top five. So we are known as a uh, theater school. We're constantly, kind of consistently ranked in the top 10. Uh, our sciences, so your chemistries, biologies, neuro, uh, neurosciences of the world, we're pretty well known for those. Uh, political science, business, and English. Those round out our top five, but we have more than 40 majors, uh, 60 minors, and we have Um, we or have Zach. several combined and pre uh, and pre giving uh, for your education. Um, we we believe that getting you outside of the classroom is uh, is essential, which is why we do put a big focus on of immersive experiences, whether that be uh, whether that be internship opportunities or 
um, doing New York City semesters because we do have that train station right there. We have several New York City semesters for our students um, where they can take advantage of going to the city and getting out into the classroom, whether you're interested in something like that. Hey, Zach, I'm going to send you a note to you just in case. Um, so Wall Street or, or political science or, or so your academic experience here. Another key component of Drew and the education we get here are, are, are our network of mentors. Um, being a small liberal arts college, it, it's almost hard to not find a mentor here. Um, so when you come to Drew, you are assigned an academic advisor and, and a, who is going to help you and be a part of your team of mentors. They're gonna help you guide you along your way, um, really figure out what you want to do when you're in college. And that is a huge, huge part of being a Drew student. Um, you know, you, you're gonna find mentors. It could be a professor, it could be someone who is part of a club that you are involved in or, or a sport that you're involved in. These individuals really help you along your way at Drew um, because we believe in not only just succeeding here, but we wanna see you succeed um, after your four years here at Along your time here with the different types of immersive experiences that you're gonna be getting, not only in the classroom, um, but that, that uh, time outside of the classroom, you're gonna have, um, you're gonna gain different presentation skills, communication skills, research. And this will inevitably help you into whatever field. You are a very diverse campus and we're really proud about that. So we, um, we have several different opportunities for our students to join different affinity groups. And it's a great way for our students to get to uh, learn about each other. Uh, outside of academic life, our campus life is very rich. We have 22 varsity sports. We are a division three university here at Drew. Um, and we have more than 90 clubs and organizations for you to join here at Drew. So whatever you do in high school, I can almost guarantee we have something like that. And if we don't, we we'll make it really easy for you to, um, to create your own club here at Drew. That's a big part of being a Drew student. So just to round things out here, uh, Drew, it, Drew is one of those schools where we do create futures for you. We care a lot about not just your time here at Drew, but after Drew as well. We really want to see you succeed. Um, uh, beyond Drew. If you're interested in visiting, we do have in uh, on-campus tours uh, and uh, open houses. Our next one is April 18th. We also have virtual tour, virtual live guided tours. Um, if you're not able to come see us. here on campus, but we are open, so it's a great time to go see Andrew Inchins. Thank you so much. Awesome. Thank you so much, Zach, for sharing more about Drew University with all of us tonight. Okay, so we've heard from three great schools. Just a reminder, Coastal Carolina, College of Staten Island, Drew University. We have three more to go. So I just want to encourage everyone who is attending, think about questions for that Q&A box. Make sure you're grabbing the contact info that's being shared in the chat. So we want you to know how to contact everyone to follow up later. And um, you can ask any questions about any of the programs um, tonight that are presented or are to come. So please use that Q&A. And now, as you can see on the shared screen, we're gonna turn it over to Drexel. Good evening, everyone. I am Christine DeLong. I'm an admissions counselor here at Drexel University. So today I'm gonna tell you a little bit about our university. Drexel is known for being a comprehensive R1 designated research university located in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. We are also known for being leaders in experiential learning. Basically what that means is we're really good at hands-on learning and we'll talk about that a little bit later on. So to give you some background about Drexel, we have about 14,000 total undergraduate students. That is a pretty large number for some people, but we like to consider ourselves more of a mid-sized university and that is because only about two thirds of our students are on campus at a time because the other third are out doing what we call co-op. Now, if you don't know what co-op is quite yet, don't worry, we're gonna talk about it a little bit later on, but for right now, you can think of it as an internship on steroids. Now, even though we do have a pretty large number of students on campus, we're still able to keep our student to faculty ratio at about 11 to one, and our median class size is about 19 students. 
So you're still going to have that opportunity to get to know your professors as well as your classmates. At Drexel, we have a very diverse group of students. Um, actually last fall, we enrolled students from 47 different states and 122 different countries. So that's actually one of my favorite things about Drexel is not only are you going to be able to learn within your major, but you're able to learn from other students and the different places that they have all come from. At Drexel, we have over 350 different clubs, student organizations, intramural sports. We are also division one in our athletics. We have nine men's, nine women's teams. One unique fact about Drexel is that we actually don't have a football team. Basketball is our main sport. And if you follow March Madness, you may have seen that. We did make it in, but unfortunately we got booted out really quickly. Um, and at Drexel, when you apply, you get to apply to one of our over 80 undergraduate majors. And all of those majors are split up into all of these different colleges under the university. You may know that Drexel is very well known for our College of Engineering. It is actually what we were founded on. But some of our more competitive majors are actually within our Westfall College of Media Arts and Design. So that can show you just the wide variety of different majors that we do have at Drexel. If you are someone who's interested in going to medical school or law school, we do have our own law school and medical school here at Drexel. And we have pre-med and pre-law advisors that help you through the entire process of applying to graduate school when it is time. We have our own honors college at Drexel as well. But if all of this seems like a lot to you, you have no idea what you want to study. We also have programs for that as well. Um, one specifically is within our Goodwin College of Professional Studies, and it is called our First Year Exploratory Studies Program. This program allows you to explore at least three different majors, and by the end of your first year, you'll be able to declare that major, and you'll still be working towards your plan of study, even when you're exploring. We also have some undeclared majors within some of our other colleges. Now, Aside from all of these undergraduate programs, we also offer over 20 different combined and accelerated degree programs. These range anywhere from our five-year MBA program all the way up to our eight-year BA, BS, MD program, which is our early assurance program into our medical school. Now, of course, coming to college is about academics, but it's also about learning beyond that. And we have a lot of ways for you to get involved beyond just learning about your major. The first that I know you all want to hear about is study abroad opportunities. At Drexel, we have anything from an intensive course abroad that's only about a week to two weeks abroad, or a more traditional study abroad that's about three to four months in another country, studying at a university there, and then all your credits will transfer back to the university. In addition to that, Research is something big that we do at Drexel and the first opportunity that we allow our students to participate in undergraduate research is in the summer of their first year. And that is through our STAR Scholars Program that stands for Students Tackling Advanced Research. They will pick a topic to study, they'll be partnered up with a faculty member on campus and then they will go through and research that. And it's a really great opportunity to build your resume and continue um, trying to get other opportunities for you to learn about your major or a specific topic within that. So let's talk about co-op. This is something really big that we do at Drexel. What a co-op is, is a full-time position that you are working for six months at a time in the industry that you're studying. On the screen, you'll see some of the amazing, the amazing things that some of our students are doing here at Drexel, but this can really be specific to your interests. The average salary for one six month co-op at Drexel is about $18,000 and that is your money to do what you want with. Students can choose between a four year one co-op option as well as a five year three co-op option that fits in a year and a half of full time work experience. Both of those programs I want to let you know cost the same amount in terms of tuition. So this is a really great opportunity you're going to be partnered up with a co-op advisor as well that helps you through the entire process. That is pretty much everything that I wanted to share with you all today. So I want to make sure that you're connecting with us. One of the newest ways that you can connect with Drexel is through TikTok at Drexel Admission. We have some really fun posts going up there. In addition to that, I am likely all of your admissions counselor for Drexel. So feel free to reach out to me. I'm here to help you. Um, and if you have any other questions that I can answer really quick, feel free to put those in the Q&A. Thank you. Christine, thank you so much for sharing about Drexel.
All right, our next school is going to be Elizabethtown College. Oh, wait. Give me one second. Thank you for having me. My name is Oz. I'm the assistant director of admissions here at E-Town. Um, I'm going to talk about becoming a Blue Jay, which is our mascot. And we are located in Lancaster, Pennsylvania, which is 90 minutes away from Philly. We a quick question ask, I mean to interrupt, but do you want your screen to be the larger presentation mode? Yes, um, so absolutely. easier to see. Thank Just you. Wanted to check on that. You're welcome. There you go. We have an 11 to 1 student to faculty ratio, 58 under uh, graduate majors, 24 NCAA Division III athletic teams, over 100 clubs and organizations, 1,600 students from 25 different states and 12 countries. So you get a lot of diversity of thought. Uh, we are consistently ranked in the top 100 schools in the whole country. The average class size is 17, but as you move forward, it's going to be less than 12. And we have about 204 acres of campus. Here's a list of our majors. Our most popular are our business program, education, engineering, marketing, occupational therapy, and our music programs. Well, here we have a, a wide array of lists. In order to graduate, you have to do what we call signature learning experiences. You have to do two, there's five of them. The first one is supervised research internship, um, which can be pay or unpay. We have the Hershey Company, the Hershey Bear, some internships in Philadelphia, New York City, California, cross-cultural experiences. You can study abroad. We have over 100 countries, 500 programs, community-based learning. You get a chance to work with a nonprofit, a capstone course project or development portfolio. That's everything that you have learned from your freshman year all the way down to your senior year. 85% of our students live on campus and the rest are commuters. Like I said, here are the teams that we have. We have 24 sports. We also have eSports. So we have League of Legends, Overwatch, and Fortnite. Uh, we have over 100 clubs and organizations. So there will be always something for every student. If your club, uh, if there's something here that you really, really want and we don't have it, all you have to do is go to the Student Government Association and they will give you a check for $320. You can start recruiting students for your cost, whatever cost that is. We have a new bar center for sports, fitness, and well-being. We have multi-purpose rooms, an indoor track, an outdoor track, a smoothie bar, a demonstration kitchen, where we teach our students how to eat healthy. Uh, lounges with fireplaces inside and an outdoor fire pit. So this, this will be available to you at all times. We have an honors college inside the college. Uh, that means that for students that want to go above and beyond, we have field trips. You get to go to the annual uh, Collegiate Honors Council Conference. You get to meet other students from other different colleges. The requirements are a 3.5 in um, your high school. You have to be in good stand and you have to rank in the top 10. You have to give a 3.5 while you're in the college. The application process is super simple. There is no application fee. Uh, E-Town or the Common App, official high school transcript, SAT scores or ACT scores are now optional. We do a school report, a teacher recommendation, and we usually we take about two to three weeks uh, to return the, to make a decision. You have until May 1st to make your final college choice. Here is a list of our scholarships and our tuition. Right now, if you have a 3.5 GPA or higher, a student will receive $17,000 off every year just by mere applying. If you have between a 3.0 to a 3.49, you will receive $14,000 off every year. We have scholarships for music. We have students scholarships for students that are interested in diversity and social justice. And the FAFSA goes live October 1st. And we also do financial aid. 97% of our students receive financial aid. You can transfer credits. We take the four or the five in the AP exam. We take the five or above in the IB courses. And if you're with a local community college, we take 100 level or higher level classes, C minus or better. Come in and check us out. We're open for business. Uh, you can come in. We have virtual visits as well. We have an open house that's coming up. We have department days. Um, we have junior visit days. And for students that have been accepted, we have accepted student days. So all you have to do is go to etown.edu slash visit.
and uh, you will get a chance to see what Etan is all about. Here's the admissions teams. I'm all the way down to the right. There is my email and there is my phone number. Uh, thank you for your time. Awesome. Thank you so much for sharing Elizabethtown College this evening. All right, we're up for our sixth school of the night in this six by six. So I'm excited to introduce and welcome Elon University. Good evening, everyone. Thank you so much um, for sticking around to this last presentation here. My name is Tofumi Olalia, and I'm the admissions counselor working with students from New Jersey. So excited to be here today with you all to talk more about Elon. So we'll start by talking about where Elon is located. So as you can see in the map here, Elon is centrally located in North Carolina. We are about 25 minutes away from the Greensboro area, about an hour and a half away from the Charlotte area, and then about 45 minutes away from the Raleigh-Durham area. So centrally located there in North Carolina um, with places for you to kind of hang out and explore these major cities in North Carolina, but then also access to internship and then job placement opportunities after Elon as well. We're also about two and a half hours away from the mountains and then about three hours away from the coast. Elon is a medium-sized private liberal arts institution. So we have an undergraduate enrollment of around 6,200 students, which I describe as being that perfect number there. We are able to develop those close-knit relationships, friendships, and bonds while potentially meeting a new person every day you're on campus. We have 80% of our students coming from out of state, which is so exciting to get to interact um, and meet people and students coming from various backgrounds, with our top enrollment states being those Northeastern regions. So New Jersey, Pennsylvania, Massachusetts, and New York as well. We have 47 states represented. Um, and then we also have 19% um, of our students identifying as racially and ethnically diverse, which is such a huge priority for us as we um, bring in students to our class. So shifting a bit now to our academic experience, as you can see by these numbers here, Elon is committed to providing that smaller, engaging learning environment in the classroom. We are able to interact one-on-one -on -one with professors and faculty members. They know who you are, which really enhances that learning experience there. So 12 to one student to faculty ratio, 20 students in an average class. And then we have four undergraduate schools. And at Elon, when you apply, you don't have to put in a secondary application to be a part of a specific school or program. You actually have until the midway point of your sophomore year to officially declare that major. So those four undergraduate schools are our School of Education, Communication, Business, and then our College of Arts and Sciences. And all four of our schools are accredited to the highest degree there. Over 60 majors, 75 different minors to choose from. And then shifting a bit now to that experience outside the classroom. We call these the Elon experiences because these experiential learning opportunities truly are the hallmark of that experience as an Elon student. Our students are actually required to complete two out of the five that you see here. And then when I look at these, I'm like, I'd love to do all of them. And you very well so can do that. Many of our students will complete all of these. 80% of students will study abroad at least once, and we are ranked nationally in the US as the number one best study abroad program. 88% of our students will complete an internship. Of that 88, 67% of those are leading to job offers from those companies. So furthering and preparing yourself for that success post Elon. Research, which is the great opportunity to work one-on-one -on -one with a faculty member and dive deeper into an area of interest. Service learning, which is that citizenship, so addressing a local need in the community and actually finding real solutions to these real issues. And then lastly, leadership. Almost 80% of our students hold a leadership role there. So allowing and gaining that personal, professional, and career um, development and experiences outside of the classroom. Life at Elon looks like getting involved, attending Division I athletics, and eating great food. So over 284 clubs and organizations to choose from. These range from academic to cultural, religious, and um, spiritual life groups. And then at Elon, you have that benefit of us being a medium-sized institution, but then also a Division I athletic school. So we are in the Coalition Athletic Association, playing school universities such as Drexel, Towson, Hofstra, and College of William and Mary and College of Charleston. 
We have over three different dining halls and retail restaurants, which allow for you to feel as though you're eating off campus with the benefit and access of sitting on campus. Then what does all of these experiences lead to? So life after Elon looks very successful for our graduates. Our graduates are employed in grad school, completing internships and working in service organizations nine months post-grad. So that return to investment is fruitful and, and you can see that um, manifesting in through the jobs and the opportunities our students are taking once they leave Elon. And then not only that, they're taking jobs related to their career objectives, which we know is one of the main goals of higher education. And our graduates are experiencing those levels of success because of the opportunities and opportunities available to you while you're here as a student. And then we are a nationally ranked institution. So number one, most best run college. I already highlighted study abroad. And then that first year experience is really unlike any other there. And then I'll leave you all with some dates and just important, some important information here. Our mid-range for GPA is a 3.4 to a 4.4. We do have that holistic application review process, meaning that we're not only just looking at your academic achievements, but your talents, your attributes, your activities, and what you can bring to campus and your ability to thrive on that campus. Looking at that essay, which is quite frankly, that time for you to really highlight yourself and allow us to learn something new about you. Demonstrating interest, so reaching out to me as your admissions counselor and letting us know that you're interested in Elon. And then lastly, we have moved to a test optional admissions and we will remain so for the next two years to come as well. So I'd love for you all to stay connected with me. I have my contact information as well as our social media handles. We are open for visits um, and I will link our virtual opportunities as well. But thank you so much and I will stop sharing my screen. Thank you so much to Fumi for sharing more about Elon University and uh, wrapping up the formal part of our six by six thread. Um, so we do have a few more minutes of time together tonight and I wanted to make sure that all of our representatives can have their contact information shared in the chat that every attendee can grab that knowledge and so that you can um, touch base, build relationships, ask questions and learn more after today. Um, also, still time to put a question in the Q&A. And again, you can address it to a specific school or all the schools. Um, so we have uh, yeah, one question in there. We'd love, love, love to see more. So um, while we are giving everyone a chance for that, I would love to invite all of our presenters to come back on camera. We're going to kind of join together in a little group and we're going to do a little uh, Q&A question uh, session. So um, we're going to go in the same order that you presented. So we're going to start uh, with Coastal Carolina and answering the question that we have here about a favorite event or tradition on campus that gives us a little more insight into what makes each of your communities so special and a little bit about that student life side. So um, as the presenter, as a representative in front of you finishes, just feel free to turn on your microphone and answer away. Um, and we'll just go through everyone in order. Yeah, so um, <clears throat> Coastal has a really cool, well, okay, so my personal favorite, and it is one of our biggest on campus, is we call it Sino Day. It's at the end of the year, typically like the first or first few days of May, right before finals. Um, or right after, depending on the schedule, but typically at the end of the school year. And it's this kind of huge festival that we have on campus. We have like carnival rides and free food and live music. And there's, you know, free t-shirts. And um, my junior year, they had like, um, like, a, like an animal keeper. So there was like snakes and stuff you could hold, like just all sorts of stuff. It's like a big fair. And it just kind of celebrates the end of the school year. Um, and so that one was always my personal favorite. And then we also have Teal Tuesday where everyone wears teal on Tuesdays and you can get a free t-shirt if you wear teal because that's our school color. I'm next, right? So the College of Staten Island has many things I could talk about, but one of my favorites is the undergraduate conference where students that have done researches or did projects get to present this to the whole campus community uh, and show off the work that they did. You know, it might be um, uh, the computer department or the engineering department, somebody might have built a robot or somebody might have done research on um, the, the Staten Island uh, Fresh Kills Dump that they turned into a park now. We have many animals and different things that are on Staten Island now that the dump has closed. So there's so many things that students present and I love to go to it every year to see what these students have um, done for their research. 
My favorite has to be spring Saturday at Drew. It's usually one of the very first weekends in April. Um, so every single year, everybody's out on campus because it's always beautiful outside. And then in the past we've gotten, um, it's basically like we bring a carnival to campus. So we have different carnival games. Um, typically there's lots of food trucks. Everybody's just outside. Um, cornhole is usually a big game that's going on around campus. So it's, it's always a lot of fun. So for Drexel, ours isn't a particular event, but we are very close to the Philadelphia Art Museum. And when it snows, students will generally take lunch trays from the dining hall and they will sled down those stairs. So that's one of my favorite traditions that we have. For us, will be our Thanksgiving dinner where the faculty and staff serve the students. Uh, and, you know, we just share a big meal together. It's usually perfect before it's before Thanksgiving break. Uh, so everybody's in a, in a fantastic mood and it's a great way for the whole community to come together. Um, for me, Elon, it would have to be our tradition called College Coffee, which is a great opportunity for students, faculty, staff, and leadership to come together and interact with one another. Um, so free coffee, who doesn't love that? There's usually some like breakfast pastries and um, even during COVID with things being virtual, they were able to keep that tradition going. So they even incorporated some mindfulness prompts where you were able to connect and just check in with those around you with so much going on. So I really loved how we were able to keep that tradition going despite the circumstances. So looking forward to that being in person again, hopefully in the near future. Oh, I love hearing about all of these events, no matter what, if it's academic, if it's just a fun student, you know, thing to do, like the winter weather or campus and community events. It's just, I hope all of our attendees will think, let me go check that out. Let me go online and see some pictures and look around and think, can I see myself on campus? And then want to learn more from all these amazing representatives. So we are coming to the end of our time together tonight. And so as we, um, get ready to end. I just have a few quick reminders um, for everyone. But first of all, I do want to say thank you to all of our admissions representatives who are here. You not only shared uh, the facts, the figures, those logistics and money details, but you gave a little bit of insight into the in and out of classroom experiences that you're so passionate about and the love you have for each of your schools is awesome. I hope that everyone watching, whether in person or on recording, thinks I wanna go check out more of these schools. These admissions reps are your people to ask, build relationships, ask the questions. Um, they are here to guide you and help you through this whole process for you and your whole family. When you all close your window tonight, there's gonna to be a link to a really quick four question survey. I promise it's short and it's easy. Um, we hope that you'll answer those questions and give us any feedback that you can provide. And again, this is just many, many, one of many sessions that were being hosted. We hope you enjoyed attending others and are interested in watching more. In about a week's time at that same website where you registered, you'll find the recording of this presentation as well as all other sessions at strivescan.com slash O-C-S-C-A. So thank you again, everyone, for taking time out of your day to learn more about six great schools. Best wishes in your college search and decision journey. Thank you all and good night.